going, they went north last time. Now they're going south, so they're changing things up. So this is, a, this is the first plane. time that we've had this plane starting in this position. Russ Frosty has not had to go here yet. It's, it's honestly, it's a crap plane. Like these guys have hard transitions. The whole north is essentially cut off. There's only three roads that go that way. This is going to test who is flexible and who wants it the most. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen, as we now head over to our commentators for all of the action. Game number two, take it away. Beautifully done, James. Hitting those high notes, I love it. Uh, yeah, game two of God knows what day it is. It feels like we've been, you know, knee deep in PUBG for a while now, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, Moses. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> I'll take it. Are we That's... still on Miramar? <laughs> oh, it's, it's the endless tundra of Miramar, but yes, we are still on Miramar. We've had game one out of the way. Get those, you know, shake off those nerves, get warmed back into it. Obviously, they have been scrimming. I'm just trying to make it sound exciting for people at home. They just started playing 10 minutes ago. Yeah. 45 minutes ago. <laughs> but we have the first circle coming. Yes, we did. And we have that uh, southeastern circle. Uh, so this is another situation where uh, a team right out of the gate is going to have a bit of an advantage. Chumacera is not the most uh, solid hold for a, a single team. No. Uh, but those southern hills, that uh, rocky and up and down terrain, that's where things get definitely get spicy. There's a massive hill right in the middle that you mm -hmm. can grab and hold on to uh, that is uh, strategically important. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking here at Team Wreck. Their first game performance wasn't exactly, you know, a, a glittering display of their ability. Them and TSM kind of lost out a fair bit. They had their little scrap between each other. It wasn't ideal, and they both kind of lost out in the end. They weren't uh, doing wonderfully, even though it looked like Wreck had, you know, some real uh, aggression beside them. But this is a circle that should suit them perfectly. Not only is it in their favor, to say the least, they got to see that not that many people dropped around them. They could probably see, uh, I guess, Team Ready was somewhere nearby, but they should know they have great time to loot. They don't need to rush it. They can pick anywhere they want. As you said, that potential hill could be something they're eyeing up. Maybe. I don't know if they're going to go for it early. I would I would expect reciprocity with uh, the way rafi has been playing mm. to try and take that hill or maybe do a north-south split. Okay. A lateral split in this situation, probably not ideal just due to the fact that there's water in play. Yeah. When there's water in play, especially on that southern side, you have to assume it's going to go north. So uh, for Rec, the one thing that I really liked was how they were aggressive and pushing as a team. We've seen that from all the top teams mm -hmm. that – when they get rolling and they start taking those fights and getting those kills, when you act with decisiveness, you can obviously sometimes uh, get bitten, but you can also get a lot of benefit as well. Raise your edge going on a journey. Road trip up north. Um, Sticking with it. Yeah, I I do like Raise Your Edge. I, I think they're one of the teams that have really grown on me since I've been here. And I've Aside been from their play. name, can I say that? Yeah, no, it's I'm, a little, I'm a with bit you. of a mouthful. It's, it's a little too much for me. Yeah. I think we could shorten it down, but you know what? I'll stick with. I'll I'll, g I'll give it to you today if you if you keep finishing in the top five. H how about Rise? Is that a team? Is that some? Did someone oh, take that? Is Rise Esports available? I, I mean, you got to start looking for those URLs, but it um, is now. <laughs> yeah, someone's out there like, no, I've got to get it. Uh, but no, I, I like what they're doing. I've I've been talking to the guys, and they they feel very good placing you know within top tens top fives but it's that push to be that top one two spot which is always so good for the points obviously there's no taking that away from it um so i'm looking to see if they can consolidate those final moments pull themselves into a better late game position but a team to me that i've enjoyed watching so i'm hoping they can find a bit of form here but that circle is far from perfect it looks like m19 is starting to look towards those hills as well from the uh, western side of los leones already constantine's starting to maybe look for available space but it looks like we have a bit of a compound or not a compound a a bit of an area being contested here, and I think you've spotted it out there on the map, but we do have a bit of a fight. Hamster, I don't know if he was unaware, Ooh. but great little turnaround from the Tornado boys. Compot going to find a very nice little upgrade. The UMP at this range, hey, I'm not going to doubt it, and it's done very well. Just press W and mouse <laughs> 1, and you'll be fine. Uh, so we'll check in with Reciprocity here in a minute, but Shiv has taken that hilltop compound. Mm -hmm. Very important in this zone. Uh, considering how much vision you get, not to mention it's relatively unassailable, trying to get up the, to where Shiv is located. Uh, so we'll see what the rest of Reciprocity does, but for now they've got a good foothold in this first zone. I absolutely do. Um, I, I, we, we will try, try and remember late game that these guys had such a good position early on. I always think it's very important to see the full Ooh. context of this. And as far as at you. <laughs> <laughs> putting us the ANS far. <laughs> um, beyond that, a couple of teams considering now getting those early positions. Uh, you can see some of the players sending off their scouts. And the scouting meta is interesting on Miramar because it's so frequently punished, but it's so frequently necessary. Mm. You have to find a very strong compound in Miramar because you never know, especially the center. 
Uh, the way the circles have been behaving, I think in this case, the Chumisera kind of north region with water in play, and there's, you can see where Shiv is. As if they that's got a, a drop too. That's a critical compound. And yeah, reciprocity, you know, they are getting rewarded for <laughs> being them. <laughs> You've been a nice team here. Yeah. Have some It's, it's almost Christmas time. That's Santa's true. Pa Santa's paying attention. It's kind of like Christmassy colors. Who's the, the, who's the naughty team in here? Who's naughty? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Who's the naughty team? <laughs> Me and in the entirety of chat are now just <laughs> uncomfortable. It's just stop it. Can I just talk like that for the rest of the match? <laughs> Please don't. Who's the naughty team? I hate this. <laughs> Take me back, Counter Strike. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, the Sauna Boys, another team that I, I felt dipped out a little early for me. I was um, seeing that early circle in game one. I kind of wanted a little bit more from them, considering they'd done very well in their games on Miramar when they had that sort of circle and being imposer. But obviously, this is the um, amalgamation of group A and B, so it's a little bit of a different affair. And I've uh, been wondering a couple of teams around last night, you know, celebrating getting out of the groups. Um, so I'm staying up a little later than others. But you've got to be prepared. You've got to watch over those, you know, demos and VODs from the last couple of days to be prepared for, for a new couple of teams coming into the side of things here. And, you know, it's the tension is super high. We talked about this in game number one. It has not changed. They did a quick lap out there, and, you know, everyone's pouring over what happened. They're talking mm -hmm. about it. Uh, some heated discussions. No arguing, obviously, but it's all... Everyone has an idea for how they can achieve victory, and that's the thing with these, uh, with these, new squ or these squads that are playing under yeah. such tremendous pressure where... They're all super invested. This is a very big deal. Uh, and uh, for Gamer Legion, they've got themselves the compound. And I think they're going to, uh, the 2-2 uh, the two -two split here may be in order in the zone. Uh, they're on the northern side, not not uh, not too close to center. They're just a little bit off to the east. But for Gamer Legion, that's a, that's a nice pot to hold because it's hard to get through it. And we'll see if they can now punish SDF. Keep our eyes towards it. There's a little bit of a scuffle going on. You can hear the shots coming through, but... No. It looks like they might have gone away with it. I don't see it being picked up. Sersko could be the one to suffer after the lead car does make it through. But I feel as though they've made it safely enough out of the danger zone and up towards that little compound. And Diamonds finding their little slice of home here. The teams towards the northeast will have to start their rotations now pretty soon. The blue is going to be on their back. A Vanguard fully into the military camp towards the northeast. Uh, they need to start moving themselves down here. Penta already on the way. We've got Razor Edge on the way. You can see, Wreck, they are, I think, going to do a north-south 2-2 two -two split with Shiv on top with Skoom. But Hack said he's going north, but he's going to get stopped Ooh. by two separate teams. And immediately, he's under pressure. Rafi's still in Val Del Mar. And yeah, Hax is going to go down. The, the north-south split was the right idea, but unfortunately, the path was not clear. No, it wasn't. Um Maybe not getting that timing right in their heads there. I don't know Eight what it minutes, was. Eight minutes, that's a little You've late. Got, exactly. I feel like you're going to be considering that now. Teams are too aware. Team Ready were the ones who dropped close. They went to Chumacera. Yeah, yep. And I'm pretty sure Rec would have seen them dropping, but maybe Red Diamonds they were surprised by. But at eight minutes, you can't really be surprised anymore, as you said. So... There's a little bit of a split here. Rafi was the man who was level threed up, so I think he had the MK and threes. And actually, Shiv was a bit of a revenge. Besselok would be a huge loss as well after his performance yesterday. They bailed, so now it's going to be Shiv getting pressured back off the hill at distance. And now Shiv uh, and Skoom are going to have to defend the hilltop. This is a, a, an important spot. Rafi has not arrived yet, so they're going to have to try and figure out how they can get three up there. Pin, and I believe Best of Luck has jumped back on the vehicle and are going to escape. SDF still under pressure in transition. And Bjorn's a little bit out in the open there, but not a lot of ammo either for that no, matter. Only 19, 7.6. Uh, obviously, it, it should be enough around for him. I don't know how much he's looted this area he's in. I'd hope he has a look, but now he certainly will be. Desperately trying to catch people on rotations. You might see a couple He's of individuals holding. picked up. Yeah, it's a nice spot, that church as well. It's a, it's a really nice overview. You get a lot of attention, but if you get some range, it's wonderful to come out of it. Avangar is now just beginning their journey south from the military base. Mm. And uh, they're going to be out in the blue probably for this entire uh, phase shift. Uh, rest, uh, sorry, raise your edge in a similar position a little bit further down. And Octave has not even mounted his vehicle yet. He is just going to grab as many meds and ammo as he probably can carry. Max Sizor is uh, on the way south. And people wondering, Rafi has seemingly made it up there. So he has yeah. been able to join the others. That's a really nice addition, supplementing the position they had. He might have some range, hopefully, on that MK. So he could maybe provide a little bit more to keep the Red Diamond sated for now. Uh, M19, decent enough spot. We're seeing a lot of the big names who you'd be expecting to do well, finding place and trying to pull yourself away from the northern side of this map is never easy. The terrain does not allow you easy rotations. That's the one thing. You will have to take your time. You're going to take a lot of damage. 
And you can see this compound is, even though it looks very close on the map, they are quite split. Obviously, Red Diamonds do not want to lose out on helmets or vests or any of their meds, so they're going to probably try and play it as smart as they can. We do see Shiv up there with a mini as well. Rafi, I'm pretty sure had the MK, but he might just switch that once he gets towards the hillside. One thing you have to realize about Miramar, and this is something that comes in with both spectating, casting, playing, and, uh, and you guys at home as well, is that it might seem like the path is clear one way or the other, even in team fights, but there's so many ridges and so many angles on Miramar that you're never 100% sure as to who can see you from where. So what appears to be a very safe push could maybe be third partied very easily because as soon as those shots pop off, you could have someone approach from an angle you didn't even anticipate without seeing them at all. So uh, for Miramar, it's all about tentative and slow kind of pushes, trying to be aggressive where you can. Uh, but it's a difficult map to play and an even more difficult map to win. Certainly is. Pent has taken uh, a good bit of pace there, southeast, taking the long road around, but fairly uncontested till they get central. A lot of teams popping off some shots, but none really going to find too much of a connection. And it's gone quite far south here. Yeah. Water still included. This is good for Wreck, to be honest, because there's the, the next phase, the third phase, is where water begins to get adjusted. So Wreck, even though they're down one, they're in a very strong position to just kind of hold the hilltop Make sure no one can get up there. They need to ride this zone out, and that means that once the water gets adjusted out, they should still be in the zone once again, and then it'll be an east-west decision more than north-south. Uh, there is still a chance, however, uh, that the water will stay in, but mm -hmm. they're still close enough to center that they should be good through this phase. Yeah. That northern side, though, different story. It's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's very much trying to pile in towards the center of this map, find their anything they want. I like what Jokers were doing with that 2-2 split. It looks like they're trying to maybe take as much as they can, and I think we're seeing that now. The way Threefeli is uh, <laughs> getting away out of there. I think he's been shot at enough that he doesn't fancy it, and everyone is looking for that one little compound, maybe a building, a shack, anything to try and hedge their bets. Triffley is in trouble, though. Constantine lays down the fire with the AK, does not get the shots he wanted. It looks like Triffley's going to fall back to maybe a safer compound after he had a little look for something new. Constantine's bouncing around in his Murado. Now he's going to get punished by the rest of Accelerate game. Oh, my <laughs> God, that was close. Wanderer from up top. He's got a line with the car 98. Squeaky is going to try and punish and finish Constantine's, and that's what they wanted. They found it. That's exactly what they wanted. It is a little bit of a low ground for Accelerate game, but it's not the end of the world. They're just going to hold on to this one. Example, nice angle. Re-peaking, though, deadly, but he's got the eight times. He's feeling confident in keeping that one safe. And looking at M19's position, it's it's not ideal, but Wreck are taking fights on several fronts here. They need to be careful to not overextend. But now we're going to see those later rotations coming in. Avangar is still in the blue, believe it or not. They're still trying to find a way to swing south. That's what Avangar is known for, those long, sweeping swings going south or north to get away from the pressure of the play zone. TSM is doing something similar, as we will see Kaint finished off by set from Al Pachinki. But TSM is going to have a rough time finding their way into the zone, and that southern path, uh, the main road where we just saw that death happen, is where TSM, Gamer Legion, and Avangar all are all headed towards. Rory's in the lead vehicle, and uh, this might not be a good spot for TSM. We'll see what happens. This is uh, TSM just arriving to the south, or I should say east, of where Set is featured here, and uh, it's going to be a rough ride into the zone. Yeah, it certainly is. There's two, three, four potentially teams to get past if they keep going this way, let alone the people beside them. It looks like they might have gone out of the vehicles for a second, too. Um, Wookie Bookie is behind, still en route. That is down towards the southeast. You can see it there. Avangar still yet to really get into the circle. Uh, Razor Edge have taken Anoctive. the western side. And <laughs> he's so oh, he's far. just popping yeah. into the map. He's just on top by the, <laughs> by the round timer. You can see him up there in his vehicle. Uh, but this is going on to the third phase. The circle is shrinking. Mm. So uh, that's going to be a lot of it zone hurts. damage. Anuktiv is, I think he's, I don't think he's by himself, but he will have to stop and burn a lot of meds if he can't make it before the zone finishes uh, shrinking. Yeah, he took some extra time up in the military camp um, after his teammates left. So maybe he was looking he stop further You can see him stopping. It. He's stopping and having to med already. So that's, that's yeah. dangerous for Anuktiv. Yeah, raise your edge. Uh, came out better. They were up quite far north as well, but they have got themselves in. TSM, if we could check out TSM, this is going to be uh, a pretty mad dash to the zone. They've got Avangar behind, they've got Al Pachinki in front, they've got Penta in front as well. TSM might be looking at a, another deadly rotation. They're on the north side of your screen, but luckily Penta is more interested in Bjorn and Gamer Legion, and everyone is Look taking a shift. I mean, they're like, nope, no thank you, I'm good with yep. this. 
Uh, there's a lot of rotations on this eastern side, and it looks like everyone, after hearing those shots towards Bjorn, as you said, they're, they're not having any of it, but it could TSM be going to another first. compound. Have they found something for free? TSM will land first in a compound from the looks of it, so that's going to be a good pickup for them. Uh, but the issue is for TSM <laughs> is okay, we're going okay. to see a shrink and it's probably going to go north and exclude that compound. So TSM, although they're safe now, they're likely going to have to move again soon unless we see uh, like an eastern, southern hard shift. We'll keep that in the back of our minds. Penta still laying down the fire on any eastern rotations. They're making it very uncomfortable. But M19 have been popping off shots at a couple of teams now. They clearly have some range to be playing with and enough, you know, uh, supplementary ammo to be making it count. I say that. Wanderers Ooh. down to only a couple. Let's see if he gets a shot off here eight times on that car 98. It feels so good. Every time I see, like, the random head poke out, I just I, I have flashbacks to when I play where I'm like, I'm going to shoot get that guy, and you turn to your left, there's another helmet looking at you. <laughs> and uh, that was almost the case for Wanderer. Gamma Legion just cannot find a break. Timber's going to get taken down very quickly as Kemba picks up a free kill, essentially. Gamma Legion just cannot find a home. And there's the shift. So TSM will retain their compound. Albeit barely, but yes, mm. all the waters come out, and now reciprocity position. That split they've engaged with Skoom on the south side and Rassi and Shiv on the north side are are, are going to be uh, paying uh, dividends now. I've got to say as well, Jokers, they went for that 2-2 two -two split a couple of a good. Good, a good little bit of time ago, and they have really got the benefit of that. So they've got so much real estate gathered. Oh, no, Nookie, this could be a very scary Slowly situation. Slowly driving. Uh-oh. Pin is going to engage. Nookie does oh. get tagged. Pin forced off the peak, but Bestelok just gets encouraged to engage. And this man does not need much encouragement. He has been outstanding in the last couple of games, really coming into his own once we got into a wrangle. He will find Nookie, claims the full kill as well. Going to back away from this, and that's surely going to ward off Sauna. The Sauna boys, they can't stick around here. This is a tough part of the map to deal with, and I think that we'll probably see more people alive a little bit later than we normally would because there's so much high-low in play. And for Jokers, they're in the low ground, but they're holding a very strong north-south 2-2 split with the circle in their favor, so they should they should likely retain their compounds for a significant period of time. But for the edge teams, if you're mm. Q-Rage, if you're SDF, if you're Avangar, who's now just barely made it into the zone before they're going to have to start moving again in the next 10 seconds, Razor Edge is actually moving right on Al Pachinki. If we can go back to that really quick, this is going to be a four-on-four four from the looks of it. Yeah, and Fast Rails found one. We'll have to keep tabs on that as best we can. There it is in the little pip. Big we screen. will be seeing a couple of magic finding dream for you. It looks like Raise Your Edge, even though they were kind of breaching into this, have come out very nicely. They've taken a good chunk out of who was holding the back. M19's fight continuing. A little bit of a stalemate to a degree. No one really wanted to overly challenge, but someone on the run. It looks like one of the players Ooh, did move. get down the hill, actually. And Raise Your Edge could maybe get caught out by that. There's a potential for them to be over-focused, almost tunnel visioning on it, but we'll see if they can get that compound. Oh, they're going to show us. Okay, so now it's going to be uh, SDF. As I was going to say, this fight is, might come to a halt as SDF is going to actually finish elite player. It's hard to pick the fight here, ladies and gentlemen, but the nades, and now the pressure is coming as Al Pachinki is down to just one. Oh, no, down to two, I should say. But Set is out of position and prone. He's not going to help his team here. Yeah, Set made a run for it. He got out, I guess, if you're playing for placement, sure. But you have really left your teammate Ooh. to rot. But he holds the angle. Cup of magic. No trade. Where was the trade on that? That was haphanded. That was a little bit over-aggressive. Individual play is not going to get you into these sort of late-game situations. Where's the, nades? Where's the nades now? Where is anything? Now they're getting denied here. This could buy time for Set to potentially come back in if they really want to play the game here. M19 rolling up on towards players as well. This could be a very bloody game soon. 16 teams still alive wow. and not much to be had here. I'm worried about Raise Your Edge. I can't figure out M19 is eliminated, by the way, as Gamer Legion gets involved. But now the nades are super late. They got the res as well. That is the slope. We kind of saw this a little bit last game where Razor Edge was just a little tentative in their decision making. And now they've allowed the res. It's back to a 2v3. This could turn against them very quickly. Uh, I'm surprised to see how uh, Ray's uh, did not get the information from their down teammate who was flushed to nade his body. Oh, that nade is right on top of him as that's a two for one. I take it all back. Raise your edge just completely wipes the left uh, last two members of Al Pachinki. Wow. And that's uh, there you go. This set all by himself. Uh, if uh, I would say, though, for Raise Your Edge, the one downside is you're probably wondering where that last player is. Because yeah. you've just gone, wait, did we knock? The, is that, wait, there's three bodies. You know what I mean? You start going through it in your head. But, hey, if it works, it works. I don't think that's something that they choreographed to work that way. But it did I, work out. Uh, you know, I still got to say, I, I think that there was time and space for them to, to maybe keep that, that fourth player. Um, but I regardless, it, it worked out in their favor. They're going to go on as three. I'll, I, hey, look, we'll take it. Let's take stock of what's been happening. We did lose out on our first team. We are down there to 50 go. players, and it goes to the east. That's actually 
a benefit for TSM. They're going to manage to stay in the circle. Um, that's a super hard shift, and it's going to benefit both Jokers and TSM, uh, who now have to deal with Avangar on the ridge line. Wookie Bookie with the Mini 14 shooting down onto Avangar, who I wonder uh, what their meds and uh, and uh, boosts are looking like, considering how much time they spent in the zone. Jokers is going to condense and actually leave a mm. path for Red Diamonds to get into the zone. That's interesting. Um, I don't know how that's, that's going to pay off for them. Maybe feeling they're playing for the late game now. It looks like there could be someone else potentially that's taking McIndark that. going for yeah, it. Yeah, Gamer Legion looking towards this one. Actually, he stops. Yeah. It's not much of a, a position to be played for right now, but it's it's enough cover here. Trifoli does find Mertz, and that team ready. Where why was that from? Why does Jokers give up that split? I mean, wait, I, that was a huge shot. Yeah, no doubt. That's long distance from. I'm not sure where that is, but I'm surprised to see Kamka. Uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, Jokers give up the split. Maybe it's just a, a safety thing they want to fight as four. Uh, but that would have been a lot of map control in the center of the zone they could have retained. Uh, regardless, Jokers going Scoom. with a different... Uh, different. Oh, not quite. Yeah, losing on Scoom there. We're down to two now for Wreck there. They're not having great timing here. Melman does find six Moso. Team Ready not having a great time either. Some of the bigger names getting challenged down a lot here. Losing out on players in this shift. It's a hard shift. You expect to see bloodshed. It's very hard to find any room now. A lot of it's been taken. Minute 22 is where the, the sadness happens on Miramar. <laughs> uh oh, that nade. That's a very nice nade. A beautiful Pop. death goes down, but they oh, did trade so it. Many back more. and forth. Iro still alive, but for only so long, he gets swept aside by the Sauna Boys, who did lose out on Jorski. A revive is available for them, so they might be able to recover this one, but there's still third party potential. Those shots going off will never be unnoticed. Speaking of sadness, Team Ready is going to be sad with that positioning as they go out in 15th place. Uh, so for TSM, they uh, they have a lot of time and space on their side of the zone, but for Q Rage, not the case as they are in the smoke and getting pressure from all sides. Uh -oh. It's SDO, uh -oh. another terrific nade. Kamka landing the touchdown as uh, the follow up comes, oh. Oh, and it's so a red good. zone. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a toss. Wow, that was insane. I'm glad to finally see Tornado. I didn't get to see Group A. Is this going to be... This is the nade. Let's look at that. Surprise. Oh, Kobe. That's, that's just nasty. There's nothing you can do about Perfectly it either. Perfectly timed. Perfectly so, timed. So, so good. I love a bit of it. And a lot of the teams from the Western side have found their place here. I mean, it's not particularly safe. We are seeing Sesco being wow. caught. And a lot of damage coming out from Tornado here. And pretty decent shots as well. Another long distance shot from Compot onto uh, SDF across the way with the head shot landing. And SDF is uh, feeling a little bit worried as they are going to have to come maybe down this hill eventually, depending on if we go north or south. TSM is likely going to lose the benefit of the edge of the zone. And I'm wondering now if it would be their time to move a little bit, but we haven't seen the shift start or uh, finish, I should say, with only 38 seconds remaining before we see the next zone. Um, if I'm TSM, maybe I push up a little bit, but we don't see their lines of sight and what uh, yeah. what kind of pressure they're facing. But uh, regardless, uh, this is actually a significant amount of, uh, of players still alive here it's at a minute 23. Absolutely huge. Um, kind of surprising. Normally As, we'd be in an open uh, field yeah. by now. <laughs> that is true. So uh, for now, I think that for Penta, they're maybe having the most pressure as they don't have a compound. They've only got a hill and they're going to have to be on foot. Reciprocity, having lost another player, uh, are fighting as two. They've been relatively inactive. It's centered up. See, now this is where Jokers might run into a little bit of trouble, mm. is they're now on the edge and giving up that split where Red Diamonds has just walked in for free. Um, that could have been so nice. Imagine if they yeah, had that. They would have, they would have uh, been in a position to win the game, but now on the next shift, if it goes north, if it goes south, rather, Jokers have to run out into the open, not to mention having to deal with all the pressure coming down the hill, but these edge teams now have nowhere to go. I'm worried for TSM. You are between a Vanguard and Accelerate, who have been playing quite quite well, to say the least. So I'm wondering how far they can get into this. Alpachinki desperately trying to hold on and play as carefully as possible, right in Riding the coattail, should I say, of Raise Your Edge. Going to just follow them in as best he can until he has to move. Wookie Bookie has found a player there, though. SDF just does not have uh, the benefit of cover up on the top of that hill. Lots of people looking their way, and they're on the Go edge of the zone as well. So coming down the hill is going to be difficult. We talked about this just a second ago. Plane coming across, see if anyone gets a gift on the edge. But uh, for Max Sizor, he's... Looking for Jorksy inside the little shack. And the M20, the sniping of Maxi has been terrific through all stages. Mm. Uh, he is an absolute mastermind with those sniper rifles. And here comes TSM. They've heard the shots. Let's see if they can get aggressive. Wookie right, Bookie in the back line. Show me the money. 
The rest of his team are a little further away, not by much. He, oh, he's pushing up on this. Is he insane or maybe he's a god? I don't a know. Yeah, scope. switches out to the scar. <laughs> he knows he's in trouble now. Rory to the left, turtle to the right, up and over the ridge they go. Turtle feels confident to take that. A little bit dangerous to peak ridges like that, but if you're feeling it, you're feeling it. And now Evangar have to respond. I was worried about TSM potentially getting overwhelmed here. Wrecker holding on Rory that though. Nade. There that it nade. is. The nade, it's good. It forces Turtle down to almost nothing. He has to fall off this and heal. He cannot withstand another bit of pressure coming in and TSM take a second here as the nades start raining in. Rory needs to come back. He's on a flank defense where he can't see anything. They would rather double peek that ridge than leave Rory out by himself. And Rafi's now just found. Yeah, and that's another nade coming down and that's reciprocity going 14th. down to 14th place. That's devastating. They were doing okay on Miramar in their initial games, but not to be the case today. And it looks like we are seeing a couple of teams now getting caught. That crunch has been deadly. Pins down. SDF has been just wiped off that hill. No way they can get down without being punished. Um, TSM uh, have the zone. They've made their way in, and I think they've decided to put a freeze to the, the assault of, of, of Avangar, who's now taken it to raise your edge on the south. Ooh, that's that's Q-Rage, the winners of last yeah. game, going out very early in this one, and uh, there's just no space left. Oh, this is a nice bit of play from Shiv. I don't know how much he's got left in the tank. Did he get found? You, I don't know when yeah, he got out. caught. Excuse yeah, me. they're out. Rafi there, that was the time he got caught. It's so individual, it seems. I, I mean, it's so hard. There's Shiv dying in the yeah, background. That makes yeah. sense. We are down to 11 teams, 28 players, so still a lot of individuals alive here, a lot of teams who've been uh, suffering. We are seeing TSM forced in. Avangar on the receiving nice. end. We're down to one player left alive, I'm pretty sure. As Rin's still trying to make a bit of impact. He's read they the play well, and that's Ooh. good work. That was smart in the end. Turtle yep. was there with him. It wasn't a one-man push. TSM keeping themselves in check, and that's what you want to be seeing. Looking good. Got to keep your composure, and it's happening so far, and that's the trade that was asking for as Al Pachinki will get eliminated by Razor Edge, and they'll get the res as well, and we've seen the circle shift, and we are going a little bit further north, so now oh, TSM is going to have to push the gap and try and deal with Accelerate Gaming, who are in the pocket. All right, we got two fins. We got the Sauna Boys to the south. We have Accelerate Gaming towards the north, and TSM have to work their way back in, but they can't 2 2 this too hard. We still have Penter out here starting to look for their options. You have Raise Your Edge still having two players towards the south. Jokers finally do have to leave that compound, or at least the vast majority of it. And I want to see if Gustav can start landing some of these bad boy shots because he needs to start becoming into this. So they have to crack into that circle. Trying to eliminate Penta here. They're free for the killing if they have to move. They're putting down their smokes. And Chris is actually going to take down Maverick. Chris has been so... I think he's probably the MVP of the uh, of his group by far. Uh, with Bregsko not too far behind. They've been doing tremendous damage. A lot of kills between the two of them. Oh, and Gustav is being watched by Tiksu. Careful. This is great information. There's, there's a time limit on how long you can do this. The Red Diamonds are engaging. Ooh. Gustav got found by Chris. Yeah. So he was being watched by one and killed by the other. Penta... A trailblazing their way forward. They only just started getting over engaging towards Rage Your Edge. Maverick does go down in the end. That means they're down to one turtle, laying down some fire, but they're drawing a lot of attention to TSM here. With one man knocked, a nade goes up. Oh, this could be huge. They're right shooting in different the directions. Feed. Rory is done for. No escaping that. The Finns, Second the Sauna nade. boys, going to confirm what they've started. And TSM may have just drawn too many eyes towards that direction. Turtles in the back shooting at a different player. I wonder if they if they want to take a fight, maybe choose one. But regardless, TSM now getting naded out. Uh, and Razor Edge has decided, you know what? Uh, we're going to push this. Uh, and they're going to come up now. It's all eyes on TSM. They've got a bit of a target on their back from all sides. Certainly has wanted, I think, on his own now as well. I'm pretty sure he lost out on his teammate Maverick not too long ago. They try and sneak in on that slow eastern side. Accelerate Gaming is still going off as well. They're in a really nice spot to hinder the Jokers trying to cross their compound. Xenia has crossed over the road, though. Trefelli goes down. They're fighting back. The SLR coming in handy. I think TSM has a path here. If they can take down the flank defender of Rustinmar and deal with him, they might have a path to take the zone and maybe try and flush out Accelerate Gaming, who's now getting pressure from Jokers on the low side. But this top, this top side of the ridge is what I was talking about earlier as Red Diamonds gets eliminated where you don't know who can see you and from how far away. Yeah, this is this is tricky. Jokers have come out of that compound and I was worried they'd been kind of gifted a little too much and they've been getting away with too much and they've not warmed in. But they definitely have the Sauna boys though. Not stepping away from the pressure. They have uh, lost out on Tixu. He is knocked for now. Penta though are down to Chris for now. They are the teammates are knocked. Is there any instant pressure? It looks like there could be... Is there a revive? They are going to go for the revive on yeah, Tixu. So they they've taken are. a second. This could bow well for your Raise Your Edge or potentially TSM if they want to try and find some sneaky kills here. This could be nice, but the southeast side is going to crunch hard. 
And for Sauna Boys, they don't want to push over this ridge. They know the smokes are there. I'm not seeing any nades, but they used a lot of nades on TSM, so they might be completely out. Udyr will get rezzed. That's good for Penta, who is actually considering their position in the last zone, is playing this very well. But did they start running at the wrong time? You can hear those shots. That is towards Penta, I they're think. They're going for another rez. That's, it's a dangerous game they're playing, but I think they know they're being kept safe by so many third parties. Sauna Boys, I don't know how far you can push out they from this can't. one. They can't push that ridge because that's the thing with this ridge. If you push over, you get headshot by someone who's prone in the grass, uh, which is the issue. But now they've spotted the moving Penta, who is pushing the gap going back the other way, and they're going to return to the roadside and maybe use the ridge that's down there to their advantage. Okay, Sauna Boys, I think, have decided let's play the zone, or at least get one player close to zone no, here. That's a smart they're move. They're still playing towards two. Turtle, who's been picked up. That's a really good time to turn around. Turtle gets found. We are down to one for TSM here. Wookie Bookie wanted still alive in the meantime. Penta's still kicking, oh. but for how long? Can Joke Chris get up? Oh, the turn oh. is great there, forcing him off the angle. That was uh, very close to going in Penta's favor and Wait. taking out that Joker's player. is a big deal, and there goes Wanted, and Razor Edge is down in sixth place. Not bad. They held on for a long time. They've got fifth. They've got sixth. They're again putting themselves in the place. Finally, Wookie Bookie goes down. We're seeing all those teams who are left on the extremities being caught. Here, TSM in fifth. We are down to four now. Senya unleashes with the AK. Gonna find wow. Squeaky and the rest of Jokers. the Jokers combining to be an incredibly powerful force here. They're actually in pretty rough shape, however. They've oh, got wait, two they've down, and, two. and Senya is also very low health at far at a far distance, rather. He's gonna finish his med and bring himself back up to full. They're gonna try and flush Rust and Mar. Senya's gonna push over and stay aggro, and that's important <laughs> to get rid of the last man standing, Mikaz from Accelerate Gaming. Or maybe Senya will decide he'd rather go for the res and stay as four. They could both be res. Boys, they're in such a good spot now, Sonoboys. You can see them working down themselves oh, towards the good. northern side. They're pushing on this one. This could be a nice little bit of work. Well, that Actually, is good. it's excellent. Accelerate Gaming gets pushed out of place by Senya's nade. That aggression paid dividends. And now the Sonoboys have heard this. They've got to know what's happening. There's three teams alive. They have a lot of players up. But as to the Jokers, if Senya gets this revive off, which he does, they're back to three. Dmash is watching for Chris. He knows he's still there. He's playing a very important role for his team. If I'm Kemba and C9 or Senya rather, I come off this ridge and rotate back to my partner. Maybe use what little utility you have to get back to where he is. But they could also hold that line and prevent oh, Sauna so Boys from getting off the hill. So it's a it's a risky game for Jokers, but they could steal this game. Well, not steal it, but secure this game mm. from the Sauna Boys. This is so so exciting. Chris is almost in the zone too. Yeah, Chris is really. But he's out of he's out of cover though. I mean, would he? Put, yeah, I there's don't a car he could run to, but it would be hard to get to. Okay, so Chris's options are very limited. He's hoping that some, uh, the other teams engage. Essentially, yeah. he's hoping attention gets drawn elsewhere and he can just sneak his way in. Ooh. He's what now another. Hey, how are you? Oh, look at that. He's trying to keep that mental image building, the tapestry of where all these teams are currently hiding. That's two players he spotted out, and I don't know if they've fully seen him either. He might oh. go, oh, that's a shot, Chris. <laughs> He's opened up his avenue He's of like, approach. I'm going. This is it, it's go time. He can get in, to he can tree. deny a little <laughs> bit of cover to the right. He knows that there are players prone there, so he's gonna try and maybe occlude that potentially. There's nothing else to run to. He's got a bush. Yeah. Hit the deck, get down. Sauna boys are above you. That one shot allowed him to at least get into the circle. Chris has been a tremendous, go, a tremendous player. And I mean, you can see it there, the precision, the SLR. He doesn't get a knock, but he gets the position, and that's important because he could find himself in second place. Here we go. Now the Sauna Boys have capitalized on that. Dimash has gone down. He was the player holding that bigger angle. Senya tries to engage back in, but the Sauna Boys are still keeping their composure here. They're playing off that hill. They could be in trouble now. Oh, Senya gets tagged up too. Jokers aren't looking so hot anymore. They were holding the line in some sort of way, but actually, Temi out in the open gets found by Kemba. Nade, Nade follow to up. follow, trying to get that confirmed as best he can. And Chris, in the meantime, is trying to paint this picture of what is going on here. Jokers still with two up, but they're under pressure. The Sauna Boys are trying to capitalize on this, but maybe Chris wants to be that annoying. Do enough damage party. to him. That na that Molly could be massive if Chris decides to start aggro uh, aggroing jokers, and then if they do enough damage to each other, Chris could steal this game entirely. Oh my God, Chris, it, you would be such a god if you can do this. They're pushing. They're it's out of meds. Time. They're He's out of meds. He's working this out, and oh, the Sauna Boys though. Joski is knocked. Is Joker's pushing up, trying to apply more and more pressure oh. to the Sauna Boys. Oh, this is a brave revive and a half. Senya to the right. You are Kimba up in front, and is he going to get this waiting. off? He's waiting. He's waiting to see who's going to win this fight and then try and take him out. 
He's so close to the center as well. He can easily sneak his way forward, but the Sorta Boys get the player up. Senya finds Chorsky. It's Tixu who has to try Let's and do Chris. something. Let's go, Chris. Chris is still weighing this out. He's weighing in the sideline. Senya now in the 1v1 against Tixu. The information's being fed through, but he doesn't know where he is. Tixu left. Oh, can he find he... it? He hits the deck. He prones. Senya! Oh, he gets denied, and it's Chris in the 1v1. Tixu has no idea where he's he going, is. He's going, he know where he's at, where he is. Oh, so, oh he, Tixu spots him. They're very close in health. This could be, oh, so close. Oh, oh. my God. Tixu just about stayed alive. The underhand nade, up and over it goes. Up to the AK spins. Let's go, Chris! Oh, he's done it! He's only gone and done it! Chris, what a play! Oh my god, this guy is a genius. I love that play from Chris. Amazing job in the end game. The composure, the movement, the aim. Chris is a god. Woo! That, oh, there's so much you can unravel about his play. Talk to me about it, because I know